Good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a good time out there in the late hours across this nation and others. We are starting our stream with Petunia in our lap, who you probably can't see much of right now. Maybe just her little head there. Aww. Anyway, gonna say hi to some folks, let them know this is going down. We have a bit of uh, stuff to discuss concerning this Nuzlocke, so stay tuned. Stand by and stay tuned. So welcome back to Streamzy. Uh, we just beat Jim number dose. Uh, we currently have these pokes on our retinue. But uh, let's look at our boxes for a minute because we have some stuff to take care of. First of all, Tignataro, our uh, recently captured purloin. We got this in uh, North Lake Millick, I believe. No, that's not the correct area. It's north something, the most northeast area we ran into this. I reviewed our uh, our replay uh, when I was rerunning the entire Nuzlocke so far on uh, the wee hours of Friday morning, or I guess Saturday morning technically. Uh, this is not uh, a bush catch, as it were. So this is in fact an illegal catch that we got that we have to let go. <laughs> Sadly. Now, unfortunately, this means we can't get another catch in that location, and that counts as our wild area catch anyway. So that screws us in a lot of ways, unfortunately. But uh, chin up, friends. We still can go to the Island of Armor and do a bit of content there to pick up another Pokemon, which we're going to do for sure tonight. Terra Techno says hi. What's up, Terra? Uh... Just call me Techno. You got it, friend. Just like the 90s. Uh, let's see. So, this is who we currently got rocking. We can maybe get a, a fun apple for Amy if we go to the Dappled Grove, or I've heard there's one in Route 6. Uh, we just have to do some content back in Hullbury uh, in order to progress the story and move on to the third gym. Uh, but what I wanted to say about that is, currently we uh, have three pokes who are at level 25, which according to the Nuzlocke rules that I'm using, which I'm going to post into the chat here for a second. Uh, Techno, we're going with a uh, comedian theme. Do you have a favorite comedian, like stand-up comic? Those are there are the Nuzlocke rules, friends. Anyway, as it turns out, the uh, there's conflicting information. The uh, Nuzlocke rules say that you can only be level 25, but it also says that your team limit is uh, the level of the next gym leader's highest level Pokemon, which is 27. So we're going to go with that. It would be a nasty surprise to go into that gym and be two levels down. <coughs> So with that, we have uh, two more catches we can do before getting to that gym. We definitely need Wanda Sykes to be leveled up for that stuff. 
Silverman is also a good bet, and if nothing else, Gallagher's got a rock move, which will be pretty good against uh, those fire types in the next gym. So we've got a hard stone on him right now for that very purpose. But let's see what we go and get ourselves in the Island of Armor. And uh, maybe we'll do a tour of the Dappled Grove. I know I say that we're going to be able to get that apple on Route 6, but I've read conflicting information and don't remember myself if you have to give the person who gives you the apple your apple in or not. Obviously, if I have to give up my apple, then it's completely pointless to get that fancy apple. So maybe we'll figure that out after a bit of content. I'm expected at the seafood restaurant, after all. Welcome to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. I don't even have to do that, really. Here we go. Streamsy, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you were invited too? You two know each other? That's great. Come now, please be seated. Hmm, nice. Mulberry is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. <sighs> She was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector? That's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit gala particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If only there were something I could do. Sonya, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonya. However, I believe it's about time we get going, Chairman. We haven't even eaten yet. Hmm, but I've hardly had a chance to speak with Streamsy. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for info on the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Ness is no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. Ooh, retaliate. Ness is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. Okay. Okay. All right, mate, you got both the grass badge and the water badge by now, right? In that case, we're both headed for Motor Stokey and the Five Gym Leader Cabo. How about I share with you a little tip about that Leader Cabo? From what I heard, he's holed up now in the galley mine number two, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him up on the motor stoke even if we zip right over there, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to Gallimine number two ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. I didn't remember the mine. That's also potentially a catch if I shut my eyes and wander around in circles when I get there. 
Is it the mine right away, or do I go to Route 6 first? Oh, it's the mine. Okay, so let's go back out. I didn't see anything. We are shutting our eyes. And we are going in. And I'm running. And I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not hearing any changes to the music, although I don't have it up very high. I'm probably stuck in a corner. <laughs> Oh, I got stuck in a conversation. You again. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you'd be up for a Pokemon battle. Hold on a minute. Huh, I've no time to deal with pathetic trainers. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, could lose. Oh, he's got four. And I'm still limited to three. But we're sending an Ali Wong. We'll throw up a taunt. Just to stop it from doing anything too crazy. Going for Psy Shock. It shouldn't do a lot of damage. That's gonna do enough damage, though. We'll go for a Home Claws, and then we'll start it on Metal Claws. <laughs> Looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit, though. You're the guy that keeps doing the same thing again and again. Hmm. Well, it shook off its taunt. Should I finish it off? Or go for the heal? I'll finish it off. France uh, be the last time we fought. Kinda wish I brought uh, Richard Pryor. Glad the bunnies is butts. And I say butts on back, friend. Welcome to the strum. Sure, like their Psy Shocks on this team. Ooh, that was a crit, too. Oh, that's good. Here comes Antenna. Still the lowest form of that thing. We're gonna go for the Metal Claw. It's not enough for the one-hit KO. It's not every day I get to battle you, so I suppose I may as well try out this move. Well, not, uh, not a 
stunning move spots. Oh, using a super push. Should I be doing that? Probably. We're gonna shoot coins at him. We'll go for a follow-up metal block. Bang. Okay, Ali Wong is one level away from a cow. Excellent. Not everyone can corner my team like this. Hesitation or whatever. Metal claw. Confusion? Faster than me? Oh dear. It didn't do like any damage. So we're okay. Alright. We survived that fight. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Okay, can't look. Just gonna scroll through the text here. I'm sure he's saying something extremely important. Okay. Can I move yet? Challenged by Worker Francis. Ooh, we gotta get our steel guy out of there fast. In fact, we don't want really any of this team. Um, yeah, Silverman can take care of this, no problem. Your rocks mean nothing to me. And we get a defense boost. How sweet it is. Now I could also just fish in here, I guess, for my poke. That would save a lot of this running around in circles that I'm doing and getting into fights that I don't need to start. But I suppose I s the rules do say once you've selected a method, you have to stick with it. Okay, so no visible Pokemon. I'm shutting my eyes again. We're gonna go this way. <sighs> this is not my day. Alright, Yvonne, let's do this. I suppose Rock and Roll is gonna have anything that's super effective against, uh. Yeah. Whoa. Uh no, okay, we're good. That red health, though. Well, Silverman needs more XP than anybody else. I sure would like to put my uh, Wooper into my party to leech some of that XP off these trainer fights that I don't need to be getting into. Uh, strength. Good 
good critical hit. Okay, so like, are there even random Pokemon in here? Like, I haven't seen any. Here we go again. You're the one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey, but that's really something. I love the battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Strangely. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oi. Jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah, and can't you see that I'm Hop, the trainer who'll be your next champion? Oh, so we've got a Joker here, eh? You're so funny I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them on together, Streamsy. You ready, mate? Nope. Got it. Then you get yourself all ready for a good battle. Okay, let's do a couple things. First of all, you out off the team. Uh, we'll finish out. We don't need Ali Wong for the gym. Okay, so these three are our priority. Okay, so I'm going to try to backtrack and run into something. Silverman to be fighting. So let's get her out. Put in Gallagher. Lads, is he training up Wooper? I intend to. I was just... I got scared by that bead fight I wandered into and I wanted to put someone in who you know wouldn't get killed. Okay, no catch for in here. Oh, well, there we go. So here we're getting some viewers. Well, it looks like Techno did not stick around. Oh, I could add a Crow Gunk. up to 12 wants to learn mist what is mist again what do you even have right now ah uh, yes prevents any other stats from being lowered well that's better than tail whip at the very least oh but haze is even better
Well, I mean, this isn't competitive, so I guess it's not, like, incredible, but... I'm sure it'll come in handy once. Maybe. Oh, I'm so bummed out I didn't get a Toxicroak. Oh, well. Ooh, a Dust Ball. Ooh, Grip Claw. Alright, let's go fight Team Yell. Yeah, and can't you see that I'm Hop, the trainer who will be your next champion? Oh, so we got a Joker here, eh? You're so funny I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them all together, Streamsy. You ready, mate? Yeah, I am ready. Let's fight these guys. Two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge is no joke. You better not be yellow. What did this other kid have to come waltzing up for, eh? I just wanted to knock off challenges one at a time. Team Yell Grunt and Team Yell Grunt. Let's go. Remember when we had a lot of bug types and dark types were no huge concern to us? Me too. I suppose we could have put in Girder. Oh, we got fighting moves. We're good. That's 40. That's 30. That's technically 60. Alright, well... Yeah. Man. Getting double teamed. So my defense is gonna get turbocharged with that. Okay. That's four kicks, feeble. See you later, bud. Do I want to move spread? Oh, that spreads to everybody. Can't do that. All right, we'll just keep double kicking my card. Well, it looks like they're fighting Wulu now. Makes sense, really. Why would you kick that one? Come on. Two levels on that one. Doesn't really need slam. 
but also doesn't really need Rain Dance. Oh, I know, Petey. It might be good for the next gym. You've got a point. Sleeping Cat. Yeah. I don't think we need Slam. Oh, dear goodness, no. Panjam has been our, like... Our nemesis this run. So many... Good pokes have been lost to Pan Jam. Luckily, he's fighting type, so we'll probably go after Wuru first. Also, my defense has been raised three stages. Strength should finish it off. Especially after the ring hunt, which will also finish it off. Ah, good thing Hop doesn't play by Nuzlocke rules. Alright, Gallagher is max level. Are you gonna yell at us because we up and yell lost? If I used a horn, would I have had a better chance of winning? You did, you did use a horn. That little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yale, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Nice one, Streamsy. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Cabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's further in. We could have gotten a Noibat in here or a Dreadnought. Wah. Wah. Okay, we gotta take uh, Gallagher off the team immediately. And I think we'll put Schumer on just to leech XP. Sykes is coming up on almost equal level with uh, Schumer. My brace so far has been putting in some good work. But it won't be long before it's too high a level. That's what we want. Stream power can send any opponent flying. Real staff, Vincent. Drillbur. Uh oh. Is drill apart steel? No. Mistaken, a ground move should still hit even when you're in midst of dig. Nope. Ah. This guy's pokes are level 22. That's a critical hit. Critical hit, Petey. Oh, I don't know if that should kill me with Dread or not, but I'm going to use Bulldoze. Curse! Mm. I think I'm okay. Well, I guess he's raising his attack with that, too. Okay. 
Okay, only one more level for Silverman. We're gonna toss a healing item onto poor Silverman here. She's really coming along. We, we want that. for helping out with my training, Team Yell, but I must say it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a car call hard at work. We weren't getting in its way, we were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Cool. It's Cabo. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and streams here, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon and the water type Pokemon and Gallop. My number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Modestoki. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in top condition. Come on, Car Cole. Time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. Ghoul! We're going to be on fire tomorrow. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. Okay, so here we go to, team, or to Route 6. That car call from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. Do you know about poker jobs by now, right? I do. Of course you do. Now I'm cream crackered. I'm for the boo-doo drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fire gym leader cab who better be ready because I'll be coming for him. So we got a catch here. And we get a crow -a gunk. How about that? Not the good move on crow -a gunk though. Let's uh, hit it with a double kick and see how we do. Okay, that's maybe not enough damage. But I do want to catch this thing. Will another one take it out? I guess I could just 
just go through the rock smash. Okay. doesn't matter. There we go. Prologunk is caught. Prologunk's down will be added to the Pokedex. I would like to give it a nickname. Let's see. What are we going to call our Krillagunk? I think we will call it... Put a pin in that for now. So anticipation just lets me know if they have a super effective move that's going to skunk me. Which I guess is good to know. But uh, the other thing lets you absorb and heal from water moves. Which uh, would have probably been better. Oh well. Now let's see if we can find this trainer that has that apple for us. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, this lady's for sure going to fight us. Let's definitely heal up Silverman before that happens. So, Silverman can't take too many more fights before she is uh, ready for the gym. Which puts us in a bit of a predicament, because I'm imagining our other pokes are not up to the task of fighting her around here yet. Let's see. You're going to try to fight me. I didn't remember this bridge existed. Okay, let's slow it down here because I'm sure someone's going to try to ambush me on this bridge. I've played games like this before. No ambush? What? <gasps> Are you going to try to fight me? No? Oh, this is the city already. Okay. Well, that didn't seem like a lot of, uh... Wait a minute, is this Route 6? What's going on? Oh, that's Route 6. Womp womp. Oh well, that's still a zone, so it's a legal catch, but, uh... We're not going to find any apples here. So, let's see if we can find an apple over here. And the Dappled Grove. And then, we're going to go to the Island of Armor and get another poke. After we chase down some slow bros, or slow pokes, I should say. Once we've got, hopefully, another poke in our retinue, uh, we will be ready to train up for the gym. I would... Oh, I did not mean to run into him. Oh, they're equal level. Oh, it's not going to let me run, though. Might as well just fight it. every hit's gonna just boost my stamina up. Alright, let's dance. Oh, I don't like that. I 
do like that, though, very much. would like to get an apple for Amy. Amy the apple poke. <sighs> the best reports I've seen is the uh, apple is not the most common spawn here in the Daphne Grove. And it's raining, so you know, gotta be careful. Tiny mushroom. I already had one of those. Fancy apple. Fancy apple. Tiny mushroom. Fancy apple. Tiny mushroom. Oh, stay away from me. Should be probably like shaking these berries and things, but I don't care to. Nope. Fancy apple. Fancy apple. Fancy apple. Looks like I've already hit it. I don't remember seeing a Ludicolo. That's the Watchtower ruins. That's definitely not going to have my apple. That's a big mushroom. Fancy apple. Fancy apple. Glad says, sorry that I'm just kind of lurking. I am completing things on Fire Emblem Warriors. That's cool. doing anything too exciting right now. And it's nice that you're even lurking. It's certainly better than showing up, asking me to name one of my pokes after you, and then leaving and never saying another thing. I do welcome all new viewers. Okay, that didn't work. Off to the Island of Armor. So, when last we left the Island of Armor, we had to track down three super speedy slowpokes that were racing all around. And we want to do that without running into any wild Pokemon and ruining our ability to catch things in future zones. I can't remember if they appear just anywhere or if they only appear in the wetlands area that we got our last poke from. Well, that's definitely one of them. Let's see if we can't catch it. And we have caught our poke in this zone. Oh, it's a fast slowpoke. Okay, message received. Well, I don't want to get yawned at, so let's throw in Schumer. <laughs> Oops. 
Slowpoke is a psychic type or a psychic poison type. Oh, you yawning SMB. Should be SOB, but you know, SMB. It still might be packing water gun though, so we gotta be careful with Silverman. Oh, acid I'm not as afraid of. Does take our special defense down, but raise our defense. Okay, back to the bleasness. Sykes leveled up. Slow. I got his dojo jacket. Only two of those fast slow pokes left. Let's get some heels going here. See, Wanda Sykes, you'll be a Quagsire someday. Okay, there's another one of them fast slow bros. Slow pokes, again. Not bros, but pokes. Gotcha. Okay. Say we just blow those again. Oh no, it's got a berry. That raises its speed. So it's back on normal speed. Okay, going pretty good so far with the uh, the training wetlands. Pull. Got his dojo tee and dojo shorts. Just one. Okay. Let's just you stay over there, please. Where is that last poke? And what's in this grass here? A jar of honey. There we go. So do these things just run along a path? Like if I stay in one spot, is it gonna eat? Oh. Dodged it the last second. Ooh, that's good. We want more of those. Oh, mint. Probably won't use those, but we might. Okay, let's beat this last poke down. <coughs> Pardon me. That's okay, Petey. Normally, Petunia and I have come to blows, but... Uh, at this point, we're about an hour deep, and nobody's cut anybody. Okay, that finishes that. Cool! 
<laughs> Got his dojo gloves and dojo legwear. Time to go see Master Mustard. Okay, so we didn't actually go into any zones that we didn't need to go into yet. That's good. Oh, Streamsy, welcome back. Oh. You were able to reclaim my uniform all, all by yourself? You can have it back. You have my thanks. Well, Mustard Streamsy. You cleared the first trial like it was nothing. Why... I think this is one of the first times since Leon that someone was able to handle all three fast slowpoke on their own. The rest of you tried very hard, too. You were able to catch up to the slowpoke, but I guess you couldn't defeat them. Eh. Tell you what, anyone who was able to catch up to a slowpoke at least once gets a pass. Streams he really outdid himself, so it's only fair everyone else gets another chance. Try to make a comeback, everybody. Oh, how generous. Either way, I'm still out. Oh, that reminds me. Honey, where are those little ones? Oh, that's right, darling. I'd nearly forgotten. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, come on in, sweeties. Trip. Bye. These are sweet little Pokemon, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. We've all been taking care of them together. And I'd say they're more than a little curious about your strength as a trainer. Why don't you pick one to keep for yourself? You did succeed in the trial, after all. And just so you know, these two have been raised in a very special way. When they evolve, they'll be able to check Animax. I'm going to take the Squirtle, but we're, of course, going to name it Event 3 and stick it in an event box. Wah! So, you're going to go with our little Squirtle. It's great with water-type moves. Yes. Squirt. Squirtle became my Pokemon. Squirtle's data will be added to the Pokedex. So many cool event pokes that I will not be able to use. Squirtle looks pleased as punch that you chose it. Remember that once your new Pokemon will be able to Gigantamax once it is fully evolved. So be sure to raise it well. Dynamaxing, a mysterious phenomenon unique to the Pokemon of Galar. And then there's Gigantamaxing, a very special way of Dynamaxing for very special Pokemon. Their moves change, of course, but their appearances change too. Speaking of Gigantamax, there's that secret recipe of the Master Dojo. Drinking it makes you gigantic and strong. I call it Max Soup. I'd love to have a bowl of Max Soup full of Max Mushrooms right about now. It sure has been a while. And that's why your second trial shall be mushroom picking. Max Mushrooms are the key to Gigantamaxing, and I'm asking you to find them three. Max Mushrooms are red with a spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure they grow in dark, humid places. And with that, your next trial begins. I'm counting on you. Oh, whoa. And don't you worry, Bulbasaur. I'll be sure to raise you with lots of love. I'll make you oh so strong. You'll never lose to Squirtle Tiki. Now, man. 
It's honey, if you want that Pokemon to learn new moves, you can leave that to me. But aren't you just the sweetest thing? That lovely lad is always so kind. Give him a bit of armor right or, and he'll teach your new darling Pokemon a new move. You should give it a try. Man, these people are really paying out. Whoa, okay. Did we make it an hour? Yeah. You made it an hour and 53 seconds, Petey. Bye bye Oh, don't you be sneezing. I feel bad now. Okay, first things first. See? All very interesting pokes that I wouldn't mind using. But no. Alright. So I suppose the next place they want us to go is the caves, but I don't know if I can just go anywhere. And if I can just go anywhere, I think I'd rather go catch a poke in the forest. Hey, Streamsy, my bad, my bad. It just dawned on me that you're brand new to the Isle of Armor. I bet you have no idea where to even begin looking for Max Mushrooms. Come on, let's go for a walk and I'll show you some mushroom hotspots. It's pretty nice of him. Dum dee dee la la dee dee da. Now, usually the forest of focus is chock full of Max Mushrooms. But the thing is, a swarm of greeting came through and ate every last one here. So I'm thinking maybe you'll have more luck finding Max Mushrooms if you go check Warm Up Tunnel. It's on the other side of the forest. So we'll make the forest our next catch spot. Just watch where you're going in the forest, okay? It's easy to get lost. Anywho, good luck with the hunt for Max Mushrooms. Catch you back at the dojo. Alright, gang. Let's find some bushes. Seems to be raining, so I guess we're going to be fighting water pokes in here. Oh, got to be careful not to run into a random poke. Ooh. Well, that's exciting. Okay, I feel like we need to not get too dunked on here. Let's hit it with a... In fact, let's even bring in Amy Schumer, who we know won't hurt it very much. to pull out uh, Silverman there. Ugh, that's a crit. And it's got a regenerative move. Anyway, Fungus will not be a good poke for our next gen, but it's uh, super intriguing as a poke for this run. It's a good tank Pokemon. appreciate having options like that, even though we have to make sure it doesn't die. We won't be able to get its hidden ability, unfortunately. So it's not like a foolproof plan. It sure is getting scary with growths right now, though. I mean, we 
to quadruple resist uh, the only attack mode we've seen it do so far, but I'd sure hate for it to bust out some... Oh no! Uh. Let's hope it doesn't do that too many more times. Try a ball. Synthesis really makes this annoying. Poke, another name. And it's unique to the Island of Armor, which is all I really wanted to begin with. Yes, we would. Let's see, what shall we call our fungus? I'm thinking about that. Here are the rules to the old Reddit thread. All right, well, I think we're going to go with John. Himself a favorite of mine. Okay, and now we can get out of here. And we have some unfinished business in the Motosoki outskirts in terms of uh, oh, the end of our XP grind. And that's probably where we're going to go to do most of our pre Motosoki uh, grinding. But whatever. Mm, I'm so happy about those two catches. We're good on poison types now, but... Uh... Oh, and he has a tiny mushroom. Oh, Silverman also has to get benched, which is kind of scary. <laughs> Ali Wong is still on a level that can fight. Schumer, you're back off the team. I guess you're back on. Okay, so we just need to get Wanda Sykes to level 27, and then we are good to go. Oh, taking my uh, bike down the, the steps like that is probably really dangerous. But no one seems to care. Yeah. 
Okay, this is where we want to be. So she wants to reiterate, we're looking at using Silverman, Gallagher, and Wanda Sykes for the next gen. Ooh, a scrap with a cop, are you guys? AKA P.O. Raymond. I'm hoping this grind doesn't take very long, because I would like to get to that third gym tonight. Okay, so I'm out of growl eye. Wanda Sykes seems like the perfect competitor, but might be a little low leveled for messing around with this Growlithe. Five levels low? Uh, let's give it a shot. Oh, Lear's not filling me with confidence. Oof, not great. Oh, both of these pokes are, uh, a week to fire. Luckily, Bite does nothing to us. So we'll hit him with a yawn. You gotta figure it's got a fire move in its repertoire. for the asset, or do I put Looper back in? Let's put Looper back in. Swap pokes. Glad the bunny says Copper is so happy. He's a happy Copper. Oh, I'm so glad I switched. Still hurts like the Dickens, though. Wooper becomes ground type until uh, it evolves. But I do want to lower that thing's speed. The cat is now just staring at the uh, the wall. Making me feel even worse for making her go over there. Oh, it looks like I'm at zero kilobits a second on the old stream front. Which might mean you are getting some delays if you are watching me on Twitch. But don't worry, the record is still going strong. I hope that hasn't been happening all night. Okay. to just be permanently at zero kilobytes a second. I wonder why. I wonder, 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 wonder why. Ah, my internet just seems to be out naturally. I've been having problems with that all day. It ruined my D&D &D earlier, and uh, now it appears to be ruining my stream. I will stop there then for the night. Yeah, it's not getting better. It's getting worse. This is going to probably... Oh. says it's reconnecting to chat, but I don't really believe it. Oh well, we'll do another fight. Oh, I don't 
like Wanda Sykes is a good choice right now for fighting that. keeps doing that to me. <laughs> oh, I feel like if I'm streaming, I should try to attempt to fix the stream. We'll be right back with more after these, uh, well, not paid for messages, but you know what I mean.
we're back. I do apologize for that. No idea what happened. No idea. Well, I, I have some idea what happened. My internet went uh, goofy. Alright, no more roars. Ouch, spark. back and put this thing to sleep. Hopefully my internet is more behaving now. Can't be put to sleep or something. Oh, yes, it can. Oh, I missed one already. Might have been very dangerous. <laughs> Lucky she just uses roar most of the time. Okay, Ali Wong is no longer a valuable upgrade partner. Swoop at. Oh dear. I don't have any. Well, something is going on behind me. I don't have anything super good at dealing with that. this off. Okay. Take that, Madame Caroline. Ooh, leveling up or evolving, I should say, already. I didn't realize that that happened so fast. That's extra good. Is slimy. It often bangs its head on the river bottom as it swims, but it seems not to care. Sick. Uh, 
Jones is heel and Richard Pryor. Ellie Wong is going back in the box, so we don't need to use a healing potion on her. Who is coming with me? It's John Mulaney. It's Richard Pryor is going to be all powered up. Vlad the Bunny says, Giggity Goo. That's right. Your old catchphrase. Okay. Seven more levels to go. For Quagsire. Amulet coin. Three great balls. I don't know how, how well Quagsire can handle uh, Knocked Owls. I bet it can really handle this pseudo Lugo, though. Good experience points on the pseudo Ludo. Let's be sure to do that a few more times. Ooh, a bottle of Pipi up. Yeah, what did I just say? says grind on that wood. Indeed. Sure loves using Rock Tomb on me. This is going a lot faster than I thought it would, which is always a good sign. John Mulaney also went up a level. My next gym, if I remember correctly, is Ghost. Don't have anything that's super effective for that, but once we beat Cabo, we got, uh, oh, oh, a Tina. After we get uh, Cabo beaten, we get a whole bunch more catches in the wild area, including the ghost area, it will be a bit more manageable. So. Catch something that's a bit more appropriate. Get out of the sink, Petunia. It's a constant adventure. 
Life do. Come on, Hatina. No one wants to deal with that right now. You better not get all your life back. some of those birds in order for more uh, pseudo wudo to come back. I don't have a great team for fighting those birds though. Well I'll tell you what, now I wish I had slam on that thing. <laughs> Oh, there's a pseudo Ludo right there. Come on, son of Stapes. Use your eyes. Alright, let's play the knockdown and see how this goes. Might as well put the rain up. Ouch! Might as well run away from this fight. moves I like might get back via move relearner. Tearful luck. That better not lower my special attack. Ugh. Four more levels, no more Richard Pryor though. Ooh, Wanda Sykes wants to learn you on. Yeah, we're gonna learn you on. So long, Rain Dance. Richard Pryor has to leave the team. John Mulaney wants to learn Clear Smog. Yeah, we can do that. Amy Schumer to be leveled up. I'm gonna go do a quick heelsy. Do a store PP. Might as well see if there's any moves we can teach. Quagsire. Remember a move. T 
tail whip missed slam. I think we'll give it slam over haze for now. Just so I have something that's reliably a bit more damaging than mud shot. That's it for now though. So I'll probably stream, possibly, again tomorrow night around the same time. Uh, I still have a ways to go with leveling up my uh, replacement Kyogre and ho for our ranked teams. It is possible I'll get that done by tomorrow, but I would say not likely. I still have to get an ability patch for ho -Oh as well. Which, uh, given the hours I keep, might not be the easiest thing. I remember catching a coughing here on my main uh, run through. My first run through, I should say. Coughing became the third Pokemon I took to the end game. the Snorlax that actually Vlad gave me, and the Pharaoh Thorn that I grinded Route 4 forever for to find. It led to me having a severely overleveled Snorlax and uh, sweeping the game. Not the case in here, friends. Pseudo-Widows in the back. Am I hurt? I'm not that hurt. Tearful look. Just cleaving those levels. Two more to go. Sykes. Any more pseudo widows? Doesn't look like it. I 
it up now. Yes. Oh, this one's lower in level than me for the first time. I imagine this will go nice and quick. Still faster, though. I know Quagsire's not the fastest poke, but... Man, you can catch some really nice pokes in this uh, upcoming fire gem that we're going to not be able to catch. I think they would technically count as event pokes. Gym. Any more pseudo -Rudos? Yeah. Exciting stuff, you guys. Exciting stuff. Here we go. y'all are ready for a gym battle because that's where we're headed next and that will probably be the end of the stream for the night which means when we come back tomorrow we have a whole bunch of opportunities to catch pokes from the wild area to the next uh, route to we can go back to the island of armor and do that content as well all the different things John Mulaney also moved up to 23. That's exciting. Terribly exciting. Okay. So I think my strategy is going to be go for a bulk up on Gallagher or two. You okay over there, Petey? You want to come back for the gym battle? Okay. Gotta behave and not bite me. That's a good PD. You wanna be uh, super sweet and give me a little hug on camera? No? Okay. Yeah, so that's basically my plan. Go for bulk ups. Crush his team with rock slide. Poor Petey's had some sneezes lately. Don't you get some about once a year? I 
gets really bad, we take her to the vet. If it doesn't, she's usually okay in a couple days. I hope I don't get in any fights at the Bidu drop in, because that means I have to switch out for these other folks. In fact, probably just for the sake of fairness, until I'm actually in the gym challenge, I should probably not be using these ones. Until we're in the gym, that's what we're rocking. Uh, Challenger Streamsy, right? Out giving it your all this, even this late, huh? Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Ugh, really? Oi, that won't do. Show me your fighting spirit. Got some fight in you, huh? Pokemon trainer Marnie. Marnie? Proagon. I got one of those, but I also got a John Mulaney. I'll feel awful if I lose, but there's no way. Something. I can't imagine it's going to be able to do a lot of damage to me. Ouch. <laughs> what are you rocking? Two moves that won't do a lot of damage? I see. And that also is bad. Ah, we're in trouble here, gang. Okay, well, we're gonna keep you in with super potions. I hope for a paralysis, I guess. do much damage, but it will heal back some of the damage it's going to do to us. It's 
a weak way for that to go. That went, oh no! <laughs> supposed to do more if you're poisoned or if you have some kind of status effect. Nice. That's good. I'm not confident I can survive a crit with my current HP. Okay. Okay. Gotta say, I didn't remember her having a Krogunk on her team. Cause she's like a dark trainer. Poison and fighting are a lot of things, but they're not dark types. Oops, that's definitely not what I intended to do. Super potion. God damn these hotel fights. I'm very glad I didn't uh, bumble into this with my normal pokes because if I had, uh, it potentially would have over leveled them, which meant I wouldn't have been able to use them for the gym. That's also in the Nuzlocke rules, which I'm posting to the chat right now. Boom. Send out Scraggy. Am I afraid of Scraggy? I don't know yet. Well, less afraid of him now, that's for sure. Oh, look at this. Shedding his skin. Okay, well, let's use another super potion. Oh, poor little bee. Yeah, I feel like I haven't posted the rules enough tonight. There's the crit I need to turn a go. Okay, let's try these down. How many pokes does she have? Be no fun if things ended yet, that's why we're not giving up. Morpico. Okay, well, once again, we are three steps uh, raised on special attack, so we're going to stay in with more of John Mulaney. Heal him up with the super pope. Hmm, I think this move expresses my feelings. What do you think? That's not even her voice. 
I think that biting me should get you uh, effects board. Oh, that's bad. What, uh, who else do I have here? Mark Marin? Mark Marin's level's pretty low for this, but bite isn't gonna hurt him nearly as much. Or shouldn't be. Oh, it's a crit. second there I thought we were out of the woods but we are still very much in the woods no crit no crit no crit I hope that's the end of the fight. Everybody leveled up, though. Mark Maringer to level 23. John Mulaney to level 24. Plus nine sweet scent. That's okay. Sure, I grew to level 24. You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, huh? Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You'd better get to sleep, too. Ooh, rah, rah. Well, that sound tells me that my pokes were healed, which is good. The next morning. Morning, Streamsy. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kabu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. You got Kabu's lead card. You put the lead card in your album. Take this too, a little something for our battle yesterday. Two burn heels. That's what burn heels do. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Kabu chap, right? Well, why don't you get over to Motostoki Stadium to get that gym badge already? Ooh, rah, rah. Ooh, rah, rah. Okay, well, we're going to do just that. But first, we're going to buy some potions. Get on my bicycle, ignore my fans. I don't care what you guys think about me. No, no, no. Oh, maybe. No, none of those. Wait, is this all you sell here? Ah! Wait a minute, where did I... what? Oh, I'm so lost. <laughs> huh, what? Get off of there. Uh, this is where I wanted to go. Here, 
buy. I would like to buy 14 super potions. And, uh, 29. No. 22. No thanks. Okay. Sorry. Shining on the ground, Petey. Ooh, an extra super potion. Okay, gang. Time to go take on this gym. Slow moving, aren't you, Streamsy? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Cabo, is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Streamsy. I bet you could beat the man of fire, too. I sure hope so. Wait, didn't you just leave, Hop? Okay, so this is our team going into this gym. Hey, a gym challenger. That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challengers since our leader, Cabu, has made his gym mission so hard, but I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. If you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to first change into your uniform. That's right, friends, it's the bowl cut. You may find the fire gym's mission a bit different than the others you faced, and you go. The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you will be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission start. So I don't have to catch them, right? I remember how this works. Oh, we got that steam engine. Oh, he's got multiple pokes? She whiz. Confuse Ray. That's terrible. All right. 
right, so knocking out his Pokemon is a strategy, of course, but... Streams he claims one point. Ugh, Sizzlepeed. I did want to use one of those the one time I... The last time I went through the game. Oh, they're learning. Oh, burning me. Tricky business in this gym. Oh, should we use a burn heal? Probably. Full heal too, just in case. Ugh, what I'd give to catch that litwick. We'll go for the one hit KO with Rock Slide. Challenger Stream Z claims one point. Just one more point to victory. Let's not get cocky though. Good, good. Okay, Gallagher goes up to level 28. That's super good. Congratulations on another mission cleared. That was the easiest one yet. Didn't have to go chasing chefs. Clearing leader Cabo's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Cabo, the leader of the fire gym. Go! On you go, Challenger. So again, the strategy here is to bulk up with Gallagher early and then try to sweep him. But I bet he burns me or some crap. rainbow eyes so much. Welcome, I'm Kabu, the fire-type gym leader. The fact that you're here means you've bested both Milo's grass-type Pokemon and Ness's water-types, too. That's quite an accomplishment. 
Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Kaboo! Sending out nine tails. Alright, let's see how this bulk up stuff goes. Straight for the Dynamax. No reason not to. Power 95 accuracy. Pretty sold. Mind moving capo. Okay, so he's gonna Gigantamax that thing if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 
Tiger's pretty hurt. I wonder if I should be uh, healing him. I mean, if the Max Rockball lands, we win. But if it outspeeds me, this is going to be a tragedy. second there, you guys. No need to be worried. There's our third badge right there. Good job, Gallagher. Sweet. Power of Rock Slide compels you. Don't let me win that fight. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly your talents have passed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I now know that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you defeated me. Fire badge goes in here. You can now catch Pokemon of up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gala region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you'll also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Strangely, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Gerter would be the ones. But still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Challenger Streamsy, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gems. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Ooh, will o -Wisp. That's a good TM. Shoots a sinister flame. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design Kaz Kabu wears himself. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the city and make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Hey, where's the ball guy? He usually gives me free balls. Hurry it up, Streamsy! Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who'll become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenger altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Oof, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Streamsy, ha, huh? congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. 
So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, Streamsy. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're gonna keep winning. We got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Streamsy. Let's head for Hammerlock. Okay, well that seems like the perfect place to stop for the night. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Streamsy, Hammerlock is up that way, got it? Across the bridge. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on, then. I know you challenged Streamsy to battle in Galar Mine number two and lost to him there. In Galar I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Streamsy and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. So see you later, Streamsy. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. I can't watch the fight? I wouldn't mind to watch the fight. Okay, well, that does it, I guess, for this week. We uh, our, our level cap raises. We have a whole bunch of new catches we can do next week. Uh next week i'll probably be back tomorrow night but uh yeah i want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight thank you to vlad and terra techno and uh that's about it except for our new mystery lurker but uh yeah i should probably be back at this tomorrow night we uh i don't remember how far it is to the fourth gym probably a little ways so we may not get there but we will get a whole bunch of new catches and i'm super excited about it and uh, I hope you are too. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Son of Stapes tonight, and uh, we will see you in the near future.